Okay, this is a sort of a stroke breakdown for flip-flop, which is this strange backward pen angle uh, letter uh, alphabet I'm doing. A normal uh, calligraphic stroke would be at 45 degrees uh, in this direction, and that's what gives you a calligraphic letter. But flip-flop is done at a reverse 45 degree angle from this corner to this corner, so that the strokes are here and here and here, or flopping over for the diagonal in this direction. So if you do an R, a vertical stroke is that one. The bowl is also done at that backwards angle. And you get that crossover there. And then the diagonal is flopped over to this angle. Let's do another curve stroke in flip-flop at the reverse pen angle. B, the branching. C, see how the fold over goes kind of just the upside down in reverse of what you're used to seeing? D, E, F, see this? Mm -hmm. So really this is part of a edge brush left up at two. Yeah, I am. I. See backwards for me? Yeah. J. K. A little, a little forwards. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. There. More than name. L. Flip. Flop. <laughs> I don't know what he calls it. Uh, or. Oh, I love that name. Actually, that's really how I do it. M, M, O, P. It's a very free Q. And this is R. <laughs> and I've done this as a grid and then put watercolor in all the spaces, mm. you know, to make it fun. S, S. Isn't that fun? Oh, wow. T. U. D. Just sort of fake it. <laughs> w. Oh, no, here's how I do W. Or you can do that uncial variation, which would be Roman on one side and uncial on the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. X. Y, Z. Wow. Well. Flip. Flop. We've been naming um, alphabets for our new book and having a really good time naming alphabets coming up with funny names for different things, you know, like stomp and, I don't know, gull wing, gull wing for my Carolingian. But flip-flop is just based on what it is. It's like calling a spotted dog spot, right? Mm -hmm. but